Hello and welcome to Ott and Math. In this edition of Ott and Math, we are going to solve some practice problems involving adding and subtracting rational expressions. All right, so let's look at the first set. I'm going to perform the indicated operation and simplify. I have a blurry 4 and a blurry 3 over both over 2x. So I have a common denominator in both. I can add them together or add the numerators together and my result is going to be 7 over 2x. Then I am going to add 3 over x plus 1 plus 2 over x minus 3. I can see that a common denominator is going to be x plus 1 times x minus 3. So I multiply both the numerator and denominator by the denominator of the second term. So I have 3 times x minus 3 over x plus 1 times x minus 3 plus 2 times x plus 1 over x plus 1 times x minus 3. I simplify <clears throat> or distribute the values uh, in both the numerator and uh, the first term and the second term. I end up with 3x minus 9 plus 2x plus 1 which gives me 5x minus 8 over x plus 1 times x minus 3. I have no common factors in 5x, 8, x plus 1, and x minus 3, so this is my result. All right, let's take a look at uh, two other problems. I want to find the least common denominator in 4 over x and 3 over 5, or at least a common denominator. And I can see that uh, right now I have no factors of x that are common to 5, so my least common denominator for the first problem is going to be 5x. And the second problem, uh, what I need to do first is to factor the quadratic in the denominator of the second term. And I can see that the uh, second term's denominator can be factored to x minus 3 times, oh, I'm sorry, x plus 3 times x minus 1. I have an x minus 1 in the denominator of the left term, the first term. So I can see that I can create a common denominator by multiplying the denominator and the numerator by x plus 3. I don't have to change any values of the second fraction because it already includes x plus 3 over x minus 1. So my common denominator is x plus 3 times x plus 1 in the second example, or number 4. Okay. All right, now I'm going to simplify a complex fraction. So we're going to, we're going to uh, do the first problem, number five, by using method number one, which I discussed in the lesson, and that is to create a single fraction in both the numerator and denominator. So I find out that my common factor in the numerator is going to be, I'm sorry, common denominator is going to be three. So two is the same as six over three minus x over 3, which gives me 6 minus x over 3. In the denominator, my common denominator is going to be 2. So 1 is the same as 2 over 2 plus x over 2 gives me 2 plus x over 2. Now when I divide the numerator by the denominator, it's the same as multiplying the reciprocal of the denominator by the numerator. So I'm going to multiply 6 minus x over 3 by 2 over 2 plus x, and I get 2x, or I'm sorry, yeah, well, I get uh, 12 minus 2x. My pen is being very slow. Uh, so I distribute the 2. 2 times 6 is 12. Minus 2 times x is minus 2x. I have 2 times 3, which is 6, plus 3x. I have no common factors in each of the four terms other than 1, so I'm going to leave my result as it is. All right, now let's use method 2 uh, for the first problem, and let's see what we get. And so I'm going to write down the answer that we got using method number 1. In the left corner, 12 minus 2x over 6 plus 3x. 
I'm going to go ahead and erase all of our work here. And I'm going to redo the problem just for fun using method two. All right, so I want to find a common denominator for all the terms in both the numerator and denominator of the complex fraction. And I'm going to decide that that's going to be 6. All right, I have 1 over 1, 2 over 1. I have a denominator of 3 and denominator of 2. The common denominator here is going to be 6. So I'm going to rewrite, or I'm going to multiply 2 over, or 2 minus x divided by 3 times 6. And I get in the numerator 12 minus 6x divided by 3, which is 2x. And then I multiply 6 times the value of the denominator in the complex fraction. And I get 6 plus 6x over 2, which is equal to 3x. And you can see that the result is the same. I just used a different method. All right, in the second complex fraction, I'm going to use method number 1, then we'll be all done. All right, so I have, what I want to do is I want to create a single fraction both the numerator and denominator. 4 is the same as 4 over 1. I have a single fraction. In the numerator, there's nothing I need to do in the numerator. So I'm just going to write 4 divided by 1 here. In the denominator, I see that my common uh, denominator is going to be x. So I can rewrite this denominator as 2x over x, because 2x over x is equal to 2, plus 1 over x. Now using the property of addition, I can rewrite this as 2x plus 1 over x. Now what I want to do is I want to multiply the numerator by the reciprocal of the single fraction in the denominator. So I'm going to multiply this by x over 2x plus 1. And let me erase our work here. And my result is going to be 4x over 2x plus 1. I have no common factors in 4x, 2x, and 1 other than 1. So this is my final result.